Yeah, well, yeah, what, 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 what is that? Well, I think it's the phone. Again? Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it is. Are you gonna answer it? Uh, okay, uh, I, I, I guess I can answer it. Okay, let me, let me see. Hello, this is Kevin Driscoll, Driscoll Productions. Oh, okay, uh, yes, uh, Whit Johnson from Good Morning America, yeah, and, uh, and, and Trevor Alt, uh, also, uh, sure, that would be great. Okay, can I put you on speakerphone? Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so, uh, we heard, we heard news this morning about Moderna. Moderna is the, uh, Cambridge company in Cambridge, Massachusetts, right near Boston, where we are. Yeah, yeah, so that's where we are. We're near, where, where are we? Near Boston. Okay, okay, so, is he gonna talk? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. At this hour, some encouraging news for parents. Moderna announcing positive data on its vaccine in children from six months to six years old. Okay, and this uh, is gonna bring relief to a lot of parents here. Moderna says two doses of its pediatric vaccine generated a strong immune response in kids, and it did so with no significant risks. The pediatric vaccine is one-fourth the dose that the adults received, and it was found to be 44% effective at preventing COVID-19 infection for six months to two years old, 38% effective from two to six years old. And that's not just serious infections. That is any infection with mild symptoms. They say that's roughly the same antibody response that the vaccine generated in adults, and most importantly, none of the children involved in these trials were severely sick, none were hospitalized, and there were no deaths. Now, this morning, Moderna's president tells ABC News the company's working around the clock to complete its FDA application for emergency authorization by April. From there, it's then up to the FDA and the CDC to make a decision. And meanwhile, Pfizer, though, has delayed its request for emergency authorization for the youngest children under five. They say they're going to wait for data on a third shot. That is expected next month. Uh, okay, uh, gentlemen, thank you so uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the for your time. I know it's very very valuable. But we do uh, we do like to listen to your uh, your news in the morning on ABC on uh, ABC with Good Morning America. So, uh, uh, with Johnson, thank you for that uh, that information. Trevor All, thank you for the additional information about Moderna. That's good news for the folks here in Boston. Yeah, yes it is. It's really good news. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, Jerry said, Jerry said to say hi, and we both want to thank you again for your time. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Wow, that was really good. Was that, was that really Whit Johnson? Uh, well, it was his voice. Uh, was that Trevor Alt? Uh, well, it was Trevor Alt's voice. Was it live? Um, what do you, what do you think? I think it was a recording. Yeah, <laughs> you can't fool them. Do they know what this is? Do they know it's ventriloquism? Yeah, do they know? <laughs> well, I, uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think they know. They, they catch on quick. Do they know how I feel about it? Do they know how you feel about it? Yeah, do they know? Uh, I don't know. How do you feel about it? It's a dead art. Ah!